हाई हेलो नमस्कार विशेष कार्यक्रम के तमेल प्रीतिया स्वागत नान अरविंद सेतुराव राज्य चुनाव का दिन दिन के ऐरता है कड़े आड़ारूढ़ कांग्रेस मत कड़े मैत्री पक्ष शतायगत सर्ती हेच्च संख्य कर्नाटक अंत शत प्रयत्नव पड़ता है सो कांग्रेस चुनाव प्रचार हेग सकते ऐनवर उद्देश हेल इतचेल प्रोटेस्ट मत मोदी विचार हीजे हलवर विचार बेतु नम जो ए सी जनरल सेक्रेटरी आगे रणदीप सिंग् सुर्जेवाला कार्यक्रम के स्वागत माता दी सर नमस्कार कार्यक्रम के तमें नमस्कार सो सर नि कन्ड अर्थ आगते अंदी हेग नड़ीत सर कैंपेनिंग कर्नाटक फुल सतर पब्ली रेस्पास् हेगे If I was to describe the public response in one word yes, of Kannadigas that we are getting, okay. blessing, blessing. People of Karnataka are hmm. blessing Congress Party, hmm. Sidharamaya government okay. for the way they have implemented hmm. Congress guarantees okay. and the way guarantees have transformed lives. Good. The campaign is completely founded upon love, hmm. on hmm. unity, okay. on compassion. on blessings that people are giving us okay. and the smile on everybody's face uh -huh. is changing lives okay. i want to give you an example today okay. yesterday jayshree a young girl came and met the chief minister in a public rally okay uh, she gave him a garland i want to show hmm. uh, with your permission that sure. garland okay this is a garland of free bus tickets bus tickets yes that I... she specially made okay. she has nothing to do with politics okay <laughs> it brought so much of joy okay it brought, brought so much of satisfaction mm -hmm. and she garlanded the chief minister mm. and said she is a law student okay. and now she is able to mm. study uh, easily and with comfort without expense okay. for the shakti scheme has really empowered her right this sir. empowerment is the biggest blessing okay, for us sure. इतचे तुम चर्चे आगता कांग्रेस आयोजने प्रोटेस्ट अंड जाहिरात अरे चंबू प्रोटेस्ट दट वाट नहीं केंद्र सरकार विरुद्ध चंबू प्रोटेस्ट ईवन यू हाव आलो पार्टिसपेटेड दैट सो हूज ईडिया वाज दट सर चंबू प्रोटेस्ट पीपल ऑफ कर्नाटक आर् स्पीकिंग अबउट इट दे आर् दन हू नौ से बीजेपी इज भारतीय चंबू पार्टी फॉर् पीपल आस्क फॉर् where is the 15 lakh rupees in every bank account that modi ji promised bjp says take chombu where are, young ask where are the 2 crore jobs that modi ji promised every year 20 crore job in last 10 years modi ji says take chombu okay where are the double income of farmers by 2022 mm -hmm. farmers raita bandhu are suffering mm -hmm. they say take chombu mm -hmm. where are the 100 smart cities take chombu where are the uh, pakka house for every indian take chombu every single promise that prime minister made 10 years ago mm. and in last 10 years to indians mm. they have turned out to be a khali chombu okay. and that's why uh, there is a protest across the state forget congress party okay. people are saying this is a khali chombu sarkara okay. and the return gift to bjp will be a khali chombu this time okay fine and uh, bara parihara बर पिहार कॉर्ट होगी कॉर्टली हम इन वार्ली केंद्र सरकार दुड बिगड़े मातीवी अंतर ई थिंक दिस विल बी द विक्ट्री फॉर् स्टेट गवर्नमेंट आंड टूडे आलो यू पार्टिसपेट इन 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 प्रोटेस्ट रिगार्डिंग वै सर दे हव् टोल दट आल इन अनदर वन वीक वि विल डिसड हौ मच टू गिव अंड वाट आर् यू फस्ट आफ् आल थैंक यू फॉर् योर क्वेश्चन ई आस्क ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव करोड कन्डिगा Why is Prime Minister Modi and Amit Shah seeking revenge against ordinary Kannadigas, particularly Raita Bandhus? Okay. Why is it that in September, hmm. Congress government demand declared drought? Yeah. And within 30 days, under National Disaster Relief Fund, you are supposed to give money. Yeah, definitely. Amit Shah has not held the meeting for six months. instead of giving the money within 30 days okay why are you seeking vendetta against karnataka hmm. why is 18172 crore of our money this is not modi's money this is money given by people of karnataka, karnataka. by way of taxes and deposited in national disaster relief fund hmm. why has that not been given why is it that a state government has to file a case in supreme court against government of india to to seek what to seek justice for karnataka yes. and its people and that's why chief minister mr siddaramaiah 
sat at the foot of Mahatma Gandhi along with his ministers, MLAs, MLCs hmm. and said, Amit Shah ji, you have no right to set foot on the soil of Karnataka till you release what is rightfully due to Karnataka's farmers, hmm. that is 18,172 crore. Okay. But uh, wherever uh, Prime Minister Modi goes, uh, he said, Ab ki bar char so far. <laughs> how can you, how can, how can you explain that? Uh, I will. Is it possible? Modi ji's balloon of jumlas have been punctured. Okay. Date so par ho nahi raha. Acha. Char so par ki baat kar rahe. This is a way of befooling people once again. After ten years, a prime minister who has nothing to show for price rise and inflation. Yes. After 10 years in prime power, hmm. a prime minister who cannot speak about unemployment or youth, hmm. a prime minister who cannot talk about the falling rate of dollar, a prime minister cannot talk about uh, sinking economy, a prime minister who cannot talk about as to why 22 people in India own 60% of wealth okay. and 90 crore people have 15% of wealth. He can only come out with such jumlas okay. for he has made hmm. a jumla uh, as his only profession and that's why that balloon has been punctured. Okay. But uh, still, uh, even I was uh, going around the Karnataka to seek the public's uh, reaction. Many people said, uh, we look into the face of Modi, we don't look into the candidate, we need Modi, we need Modi. Uh, will that Modi way be still in Karnataka or in India, is it working sir? People of Karnataka and India now need to decide. Okay. Prime Minister Modi is attacking constitution of India. Mm -hmm. BJP wants to take away your right to vote as a citizen. Okay. BJP wants to take away your fundamental rights. BJP wants to take away the rights of SC, ST, OBC, minorities and the poor enshrined in the constitution. That's why Mr. Hegde says so in Karnataka. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lallu and Mr. Arun Govil say so, BJP leaders in mm -hmm. UP. Uh, Jyoti Mirda, BJP leader says so in Rajasthan and they are repeating it all over. Okay. So, Modi's face has now become a, 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 a sort of uh, synonym for dictatorship and fascism. I don't think so India can survive this. Okay. If constitution has to survive, mm. democracy has to survive. If uh, federalism has to survive, then BJP has to be defeated. Okay. After the first phase of election in India, yes. Narendra Modi ji and Amit Shah, I think they have changed their strategy. Now they are talking about uh, minorities, that is Mangal Sut. Yeah, if Congress comes into the power, uh, uh, the Hindu uh, Mangal Sutra, will, they will give to the uh, Muslims. Why? Why D Did they change the strategy, sir? Why? See, on the day of the polling at night, hmm. there was a night long meeting. They went into a huddle and panic. Okay. Mr. Amit Shah, Mr. Nadda, Mr. Modi and all others. Okay. For North India, hmm. as wherever, where maximum number of first phase seats were, hmm. They, they have by majority voted out the BJP. Okay. There are no jumlas now okay. that are working. Hmm. That's why they have gone back to their original turf of spreading hatred, hmm. Hindu-Muslim. Tell me, okay. if after 10 years in power, hmm. a prime minister hmm. has to use such foul language, unbecoming of the office of the prime minister, hmm. does it not show that defeat is written on the face of Prime Minister Modi for he can influence some people, mislead some people, but he cannot mislead India for Indians have seen through the clock of jumlas that Prime Minister sells instead of delivering anything. Okay. Why is he not talking about progress? Why is Prime Minister not talking about development? Why is not Prime Minister not talking about jobs and employment? Why is Prime Minister not talking about how to control inflation? Why is Prime Minister not talking about how to propel India forward. Right. Remember in 2014, he said hope, now he is saying hatred. In 2014 right. when he said uh, vision, now uh, his television is the only vision. Has he disappointed right now? I think Modi ji has disappointed India. Modi ji has disappointed the poor of India, 
Modi ji has disappointed the SC, ST, OBC minority mm. and ordinary people of India. Mm. Modi ji has disappointed the salaried and the middle class of India. Mm. And Modi ji has actually uh, uh, washed away the huge opportunity and mandate that people of India gave him to fix things, not to spread hatred. That is something that he has not understood. But, but Modi ji says uh, in Karnataka, Congress government is praising minorities. There is no protection for Hindu ladies, Hindu Muslim, Hindu uh, women in Karnataka. Is it so, sir? I ask you, Congress edifices welfare and making Kannadigas participant partners in running the government. Okay. When we give Grey Lakshmi money hmm. of 2000, does it uh, discriminate between a Christian, a Bodh, a Jain, a Hindu, a Muslim, a Sikh no. or any other community. No. When we give 200 units of current free, does it discriminate on the ground of caste, religion or region? The answer is no. Hmm. When women travel for free in the bus, all our sisters and mothers and daughters travel for free. Yes. Uh, that's the Shakti scheme. When Anabhagya money goes to 4 crore 49 lakh people, does it discriminate on the ground of caste or religion? The problem is BJP has done nothing and when they are 0 but are 0 equivalent to 0, hmm. then they only have hatred to spread. We have love and compassion and uh, blessings to take of people of Karnataka. Hmm. That's the difference. So there is the Bharatiya Chombu party and there is the Karnataka uh, guarantee model of the Congress party. Okay. In the 2019, BJP won 25 seats out of 28 seats. But this year, 2023, now they have come with coalition of JDs. Why? What was the uh, uh, what was their plan? Was it necessary for BJP? Bank corruptcy of ideas and ideology hmm. has pushed them hmm. into this alliance. And what is this alliance? You ask even a BJP leader, they'll tell you. Hmm. There is no BJP. There is Yadurappa and Sons shop okay. that they are running. And there is Kumar Swami and Brothers and Son shop. So two shop hmm. of Yadurappa and Sons. If you don't be believe me or your viewers, go and ask Ishwarappa, are the senior leader of okay. the BJP. Hmm. Go and ask Mr. Yatnal, the senior leader of the BJP. Go and ask the Yelanka MLA and senior leader of the BJP, Vishwanath. Mr. Vishwanath and many, many other leaders. They will tell you there is no BJP here. There is only Mr. Yadurappa and Sons party and there is uh, on the Swami. other side, Kumar Swami and brother and sons party. So, two shops based on nepotism, opportunism, emanating out of rank corruption have come together to once again be fool and loot. But people will not believe uh, the Chombu party again or their combination for they believe in Congress but, guarantees. But Modi, Amit Shah, J.P. Nadda, they initiated this coalition, right sir? Yes, because... Uh, because everything that they say, they will do exactly the opposite. Okay. They speak against nepotism, hmm. but I ask you, Vijendra is state BJP president. Yes. Their national uh, committee which decides everything has Mr. Yadurappa. And the third son is contesting uh, Shimoga. now uh, Shimoga parliament. Yes. Mr. Kumar Swami is contesting. His brother's son is contesting. His son is contesting. His brother-in-law is contesting. So, these are shops, family shops that they are running okay. and uh, those family shops are now blessed by mm. Mr. Modi and Mr. Amit Shah. Okay. 